Hey, what's good fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another comparison video. Today we are comparing the brand new Yorkville battery powered EXM Pro Sub versus the Yorkville LS200P subwoofer. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, if you're new here, please consider subscribing down below and make sure to like this video so I can keep making videos like these for you. Okay, guys? Okay, first, we're gonna start off with the EXM Pro Sub. So it has two 10 inch woofers and is a reflex design. So it's a more of a boomy sound. And don't forget, this is a battery powered speaker with five and a half hours of battery life at max volumes. And of course, if you play it at moderate volumes, it'll last a lot longer. And also has two handles on the side, two uh, speaker pole mounts on the side where you can uh, lay it on its side or you can lay it straight up. It has controls on the back. It is also Bluetooth. So that's a plus for this speaker. It is also very well designed with a nice metal grill on the front. And of course, hard plastic around the edges and the corners. And it is also made of birch plywood like all the other Yorkville speakers. It comes in at about 67 pounds or 30 and a half kilograms. It boasts of 800 watts peak and 500 watts program. Now for max SPL, it comes in at 128 decibels and at continuous, it's 122 decibels. Now for the LS200P, this is actually a discontinued subwoofer. It's been out many years already, but for those of you who know this speaker and have had a speaker or have the speaker, you guys know that it does bump for those smaller to medium sized venues, depending if you have one or two of the subs. It has only one 10 inch woofer and is an enclosed system. So the base is just more focused compared to the EXM Pro Sub, which is uh, vented and just more boomy. This is not a battery powered speaker, so you have to plug it in with an uh, IEC cord and um, it has a handle on the side and it's fully carpeted other than the front grill. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a sound test and just see the bass responses for both the cabinets and just compare them both. I have a decibel meter here, so I am gonna measure it and show you along the way. And by the way, I'm not using Bluetooth to Bluetooth the AXM Pro Sub. I'm hardwiring them both in, so it's a more of an even competition. Okay, so first we have the LS200P, and I'm, I maxed the, the volume on the back of the speaker, and I'm maxing the volume on my laptop as well, okay? Here's the decibel meter. We're approximately one meter away from the actual uh, base cabinet. So here we go. Okay, next we have the EXM Pro Sub. Same thing, it's maxed at the back of the speaker and at the source, here we go, here's the decibel meter.
guys heard it. Uh, now the point of this video was just to compare the LS200P to the new EX10 Pro Sub so you have something to go on off of because the people that have or have had the LS200P knows so it's they're kind of comparable in sound. Now the difference I found personally when I was listening to it is that the uh, LS200P was just tighter. You can hear the actual notes and it just it was just focused forward. It's a forward facing focused sound, right? With the EX10 Pro Sub, it was just boomy and it was just shaking the whole room. I mean, both of them, both of the subs were shaking the room, but this, it was just, you could hear it all around the whole sub. It just resonated around the sub. So uh, I think it, it just throws a little bit better and uh, you, you can place this literally anywhere and you'd get nice boomy sound. So I hope you guys like this comparison. Now you guys have something to compare it to, but this is a battery powered speaker. So remember um, the convenience of this already. It's Bluetooth as well, so can't go wrong. Yeah, if you guys like this video and made it this far, please make sure to like down below and subscribe if you haven't already. A lot more review videos and comparison videos and other DJ related stuff coming in the future. This is DJ9 signing off. We'll see you in the next one, guys.